TV channel. I'm your video host today, Dr. Mamata Chitriki, and I'm here to bring some sunshine into your life. Today we will be talking about the potential risks of vitamin D deficiency. Here is what you will learn. You will learn a simple way to find out if you are deficient, and most of us are. You will learn why taking a vitamin D supplement is mandatory if you're over 50 years old. You will learn why many scientists consider vitamin D to be life-saving. You will learn to have the immunity and energy of the 20-year-old you. Having healthy vitamin D levels is the easiest thing you can do right away to boost your immunity and daily energy, allowing you to feel years younger. During the pandemic, vitamin D became famous. It was proven to be an immunity-boosting superpower. If a supplement could get 15 minutes of fame, that was it for vitamin D. It turned from a boring store supplement to something with almost superhuman powers. Top scientists felt that vitamin D levels could be the difference between life and death regarding respiratory infections. And the value of these benefits grew if you were over 50 years old. The pandemic did a great job on shedding light on how deadly respiratory infections were for those over 50 years. Studies confirm that vitamin D protects against colds and flus. Remember the comparisons between the COVID and the common cold and flu? Well, studies have found that daily or weekly vitamin D supplementation had the greatest benefit for individuals with the most significant vitamin D deficiency, cutting their risk of respiratory infection by half, and that almost all participants benefited in some way from regular vitamin D supplementation. But sadly, many of these studies have remained vastly unknown. So this extreme benefit of vitamin D has flown under the radar. Well, that is, until the pandemic, when the world population was searching for immunity boosting solutions. COVID has changed everything. Some studies were published in News Medical Life Sciences and at the forefront, Chicago Medicine. Vitamin D can reduce the severity and spread of COVID-19, they say. In 2021, top researchers performed a large-scale investigation to determine the relationship between vitamin D supplementation and the risk of COVID-19 related infection mortality within 30 days, showing that vitamin D levels can significantly reduce the risk of COVID-19 infection and its associated death within 13 days, 30 days. The study suggests that vitamin D levels protect against COVID-19, especially in the elderly. A new research study at the University of Chicago Medicine has found that when it comes to COVID-19, having vitamin D levels above those traditionally considered sufficient may lower the risk of infection, especially in the elderly. Here is how vitamin D regulates immunity. So first, vitamin D supercharges your immunity virus killing cells to help fight off infection. Vitamin D stimulates these cells to produce peptides with antiviral properties that defend the body against foreign pathogens such as colds, flu and coronaviruses. Multiple studies have shown that vitamin D plays a role in both the activation of these cells and the suppression of immune response in cases of overinflammation. Regulating your immune response is very important as you age. Second, vitamin D acts as an immune system modulator, fighting lethal inflammation. It does this by suppressing inflammation associated with your natural immune response to becoming sick. In response to a virus, your immune system releases small proteins called cytokines, which trigger your natural defenses. Sometimes this response to infection can cause life-threatening hyperinflammation. As you age, you become more susceptible to a deadly cytokine storm, primarily as your body lowers into a weakened state. 
This condition can damage organs throughout the body, leading to heart failure, lung injury, respiratory distress syndrome, and death. For decades, we have known that vitamin D is imperative for bone health as it allows your body to absorb calcium, fortifying your bones. However, as each day passes, vitamin D is linked to even more benefits, crucial benefits that control how you will look and feel for the rest of your life. Here is some research from Healthline, a highly trusted source for an unbiased health information. A 2018 review of population-based studies found that low levels of vitamin D are linked to an increased risk of multiple sclerosis or MS. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to an increased risk of heart diseases such as hypertension, heart failure and stroke. A review of 7,534 people found those experiencing negative emotions who received vitamin D supplements noticed an improvement in symptoms, therefore vitamin D supplements may help people with depression in those who have a vitamin D deficiency. In a clinical study, people with obesity who received vitamin D supplements lost more weight and fat mass than the members of the placebo group who only followed the diet plan. Vitamin D is vital for making our muscles work efficiently and boosting energy levels. New research from Newcastle University has shown that low vitamin D levels are making you feel much older than your age. Let's face it, when you wake up tired every day and you're no longer active, as you start feeling more and more down, you're even less active. What if your body was not getting older, but it was simply craving something you need to make you feel great and young daily? something it needs to kickstart your energy and well-being. Vitamin D deficiency is a global public health issue affecting nearly 1, million people, 1 billion people. Leading research shows your vitamin D deficiency risk drastically increases with age. Here are three key factors. One, as you age, you will lose some of your ability to synthesize vitamin D from sunlight. Number two, Vitamin D also needs to be activated in the kidney before the body can use it, and this function also decreases with age. Number three, finally, as you age, the more likely you are to be homebound and less likely to get sunlight from outdoor exercise and activity, or you may be restricted from sunlight due to skin cancer risk. The following are a few vital questions and answers related to this topic. How can I find out if I am deficient in vitamin D? You can do a simple, simple blood test to measure the amount of vitamin D in your body. The test can help determine if you need to take supplements or make dietary changes to increase your vitamin D levels. Additionally, you can look for signs and symptoms of deficiency such as fatigue, muscle aches and pains and weakened bones. What is your recommended daily intake of vitamin D? While the recommended daily intake of vitamin D varies depending on age, lifestyle and other factors, generally speaking the National Institute of Health, the NIH, recommends that adults aged 90, 19 to 70 years should consume 600 international units or 15 micrograms of vitamin D per day. And adults over 70 should consume 800 international units or 20 micrograms per day. Additionally, pregnant and lactating women should increase their intake to 600 international units or 15 micrograms. It is important to note that these are only general guidelines and individuals should consult their healthcare provider to determine their specific needs. Another question is, are there any risks associated with taking a vitamin D supplement? Well, some potential risks associated with taking a vitamin D supplement include increased risk of kidney stones, cardiovascular disease, and increased calcium buildup in the arteries. It is also important to note that excessive vitamin D intake can rarely lead to toxic levels in the body. The upper limit for vitamin D is 4,000 international units. Therefore, talking to your doctor before beginning any new vitamin D regimen is essential. Now, what are the best sources of vitamin D, you ask? Well, natural sunlight is one of the best ways to get your daily dose of vitamin D. But it can be challenging to get enough sun exposure if you live in a cloudy or cold climate. 
Most people can get all they need from just 10 to 20 minutes of daily sun exposure. When the sun hits the skin, dietary cholesterol is converted into vitamin D. In addition, certain foods such as fatty fish, egg yolks, mushrooms and fortified dairy products can provide an alternative source of vitamin D. Additionally, dietary supplements such as cod liver oil and multivitamins may help meet your vital needs for these, this essential vitamin. I hope I have been able to shed some light on this topic and hope you will continue to gather information to help you to have a healthier lifestyle. Tune in soon to this channel, You Can Be Healthier TV, for more episodes to help you become the best and healthiest version of you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.